Hello and welcome back! In this video, I will show you how to make a hang glider like this. Let's get started! As you can see here, this is the third person character blueprint. I have set up a static mesh, which is this hang glider, and I will set the visibility to false. Now what we're going to make today is when the hang glider is enabled, it will show the hang glider mesh and then change the gravity scale and air control variables and when the character lands on the floor, it will disable the hang glider. So let's start by going to the event graph and here we want to make a variable. So click on the plus variable button then name it gliding. Make sure the variable is a boolean and now we want to add the events. So right click and we want the letter E to be our event. So type in E and then type key and then we can select the E event. The next event we want to add is the event on landed. So right click and type in event on landed. This one. So first we want to focus on the E event. So drag out of the pressed pin, then type in line trace by channel. We want to choose this node. Now for the start input, we want to get our character's location. So we just right click and type in get location. Get actor location. So connect the get actor location to the start input. Now we want to get our actor's up vector. So we type in get up vector. This one, the get actor up vector. Then we want to drag out of the return value and get a times node. So we want a vector times float. Then for the float input, type in minus 1000. So this will be the minimum height needed to enable the hang glider. So only if the character is high in the air, then he can enable the hang glider. Now drag out of the get actor location return value, get a plus node, and connect the times node into this plus node. Lastly, connect the plus node to the end input of the line trace. Now drag out of the return value and type in a branch. This branch will help us to know if the character is high enough in the air to enable the hang glider. Now get a reference to our hang glider mesh and we want to drag out of it and type set visibility. Here we want to set the visibility to true and connect it to the false pin. Now get a reference of our character movement and we want to set two variables for it. The first variable is a gravity scale variable. So we type in set gravity scale. The next variable is the air control variable. So we type in set air control. Now these two variables value might be different for your own character. So make sure to check what your values are in the character movement here. But for this character, I'm just gonna set the gravity scale to 0 0.05 and the air control to 0 0.9. So we'll connect everything. And lastly, for better control, I like to add a launch character node. So I'll do that right now. And we just need to change the Z value to something small like 10. And don't forget to tick the Z override. I'll show you what this does later. So now we need to disable the hang glider. And it's very simple. You just copy all this and paste it, then connect it to the released pin, and uh, untick the new visibility, so set the visibility to false, and here we need to find our default values, and this will be in the character movement details panel, but here I can see that the gravity scale is 1, and the air control is 0.2. Now these variables might be different for your character, so make sure to check them in the character movements details panel. Now the last thing you need to do is to set the gliding variable we created. 
So we drag this out, we want to set the variable. And for here we want to set gliding to true. And here we want to set gliding to false. Now for the event on landed, this will fire when the character has landed on the floor. So drag out of the pin and we want to get a branch. Now this branch node has a condition and this condition will be our gliding variable. So if gliding is true when the character lands on the ground, then we want to turn off the gliding. So we can connect true to the node that turns off the gliding. Now compile and save. And when you play, you can see when we press E, there's a hand glider. You can control the character. But if you turn it off, you can see how it falls very quickly. Show you again. Without the hand glider, very fast. With the hand glider, it doesn't fall very fast. It's, it's just like a hand glider. Now the reason why I added a launch character node is because if I turned it off, and if I removed it, then you will see when I gain velocity when falling down to the ground, I keep this velocity when I fall. So it doesn't really make a difference. That's why I have this launch character node. So the glider can provide a bit more lift. So this is how you make a very simple hang glider in Unreal Engine. If you have any questions, please comment down below. And if you have any suggestions on what future tutorials I should make, please comment as well. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And let's see if this time we can hit 50 likes. See you soon.